Next Games coming at you with a brand new video. And I know it's been a while, but I'm going to be making a video today on how I built this electric longboard slash boosted board. So, uh, basically, uh, I'm going to show you everything, but to start off, so this is your remote, uh, that or my remote that I use. It's a Hobby King uh, HK G22B uh, remote. I'm going to put all the parts in the description, but basically this makes this motor turn. If you can't, this is the motor. It turns. This causes that to turn, which I'm going to show you right now. Which makes the wheel turn, obviously. Oh wait, got to turn this on too, obviously. As you can hear, uh, the wheel is spinning because of this. Oh, shoot. Uh, because of this little pulley system, which I'm going to give you guys a close up on how to. So how yeah, it's let's made. get started in the in-depth review. Alrighty, guys. So part one of going down the board is obviously this motor and this belt which connects the motor to the actual wheel and so this belt is um, it's a timing uh, belt which are used in a lot of factories which is basic drive wheel pulley systems and what this uh, how this spins is it just takes the this little belt and puts it onto these gears which are also have a gear right here on the other side of the motor which I'll show in a second just takes it and spins it and as you can see the wheel is just spinning so yeah and there's many ways to upgrade this uh, uh, I can make it a dual drive which would have two motors and if I had two motors it would the it wouldn't make it faster unless you upgrade the batteries but it would just make it uh, be able to climb more hills or um, higher like hills or steeper hills I mean so yeah now we're gonna move down to the batteries right now so as you guys can see uh, my batteries are stored in this little container box which I just secure with tape four pieces of tape obviously this method could be always upgraded with something that can actually close that has a lid but uh, at the moment, I don't have that, so all I have to do is do that. This opens, and you get access to the batteries and all the electronics, which I... So that's called the ESC, which takes the, vo the power from the batteries and transforms it into, like, a... For the, uh, for the motor to be able to spin the wheel, so... I have two batteries here. They are two three cell 5000 milliamp batteries. And how I get the for them for it to actually for the motor to spin everything it's the little receiver for the remote which plugs straight into the ESC right somewhere around there. I mean you can't really see it but Oh, here. So you see that wire that comes right around here, plugs into here for that. And that antenna goes out of here, which is right here. And these are also secured down with some Gorilla tape, which can somehow I can maybe like think of a better way, but I can't at the moment. And so that's basically it. It's not that hard of a build, but I got, so I'm going to tell you where I got these. I got these batteries from Hobby King. I got this ESC from eBay. It's called the Hobby Wing uh, 1 8 ESC. Scale 1 8. These, uh, yeah, and so all these parts actually aren't meant for building a skateboard. Uh, even like this. Uh, maybe just this little belt thing in gear, and this little motor mount. But all this, like all the electronics, are meant for building Hobby RC cars. But it, that, it's just that it's powerful enough to handle my weight and I can always upgrade these batteries to stronger 6 cell batteries to get more voltage and more power to, if I, if I would, to gain some weight or something, if I became a little fat, I could push, it could push me in like heavier people up steeper hills and for a longer distance. And I get about 6 to 8 miles on these batteries. Uh, and a, 
Oh no, yeah, six to eight range. That's my range, and top speeds around seventeen miles per hour, which is pretty fast for uh, going on a skateboard. So, so yeah. basically, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick uh, overview of where I got everything. So I got. Wait, let me zoom out a bit. All right. So I got this motor from Hobby King. This motor mount, as you can see, it's uh. It says torque boards, but like this was sold from DIY electric skateboards. Great uh, customer service and everything, which clamps down my motor with this piece. And I found out that you definitely need to put Loctite in these two screws to actually clamp onto the trucks. So otherwise, it's just gonna like move around a lot. So yeah. And they came with this little gear piece that holds these uh, Kegel. 80 millimeter Kegel wheels that are same wheels that Boosted Board uses, so that's pretty cool. Got that from Amazon for around sixty dollars, I think. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, this cost this motor mount was like one ten. No, 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 just yeah, one ten. This was around seventy dollars for the motor. The ESC was around fifty, forty, fifty or forty. The two batteries were 25 each. Uh, then some other parts and stuff were like this. Um, all of these like little gears and timing belts were around another 50 for that. So if you're looking to build this, go buy this build. It's going to cost you around 300 or so. Um, maybe a little less, maybe a little more, depending on some changes that you would if like I to make. If I break 20 likes on this video, I will make a full tutorial on how to make everything, including the board, including all wiring everything up, and everything, just everything. Uh, so, smash that thumbs up button. Uh, this is KS Games, signing out. Peace!